Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your June 2018 love reading. Typically, my readings are love readings, so that's what we are going to call it. This is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus, however it resonates with you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Bits and pieces will resonate with you. Bits and pieces will resonate with another Pisces. You know, that's the way it goes. This is for the month of June for the sign of Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What do I need to tell them? Lover's card, unexpected choice in love. So you could, there could be some seduction in June, okay? You could be meeting a new lover. Um, this person is not your usual type. Keep that in mind. Ah, huh. Eight of Cups is walking away from emotional disappointment. This is a card of consequences as well, the Lover's card is. There's consequences of your actions. There is. So, hmm. You have to make a decision in regards to a lover. You know, do you do you walk away or do you stay? That could certainly be the case. It look that is the case. Do you do you walk away or not? Many of you are probably thinking about not moving forward with this person. This is walking away, and this is not moving forward. No more forward movement. So I feel like you guys are making a decision to not move forward, or they are making a decision to not move forward with you. And I will get these zoomed in when we are done. Yeah, somebody is... is feeling empty inside, feeling lost. You know, there's been some sort of burden, okay? There's been a burden. Somebody is carrying around something that's really heavy. This is a burden. You don't need to carry that. You don't need to bring that with you anywhere. It doesn't serve any purpose. You guys are holding on to something that needs closure closure is needed here it's like this lesson this part of this phase in your life is done but you're still holding on to it <laughs> you're holding on to it now there could be a gemini in the mix because we have gemini right here and this you know that gemini could be jeez uh, some crow I'm going to speak. There is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the mix. And they're causing emotional hurt in your life, Pisces. Whatever, However they're involved in your life, it hurts. It does. And, you know, it feels as though it's causing a lot of dissatisfaction, heartache, and you know you could also be involved with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I yeah 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 yeah. I'm trying to you know I'm just going to lay out the rest of these cards and then I'm going to zoom this in and then I will tell you what I see. Taurus Virgo Capricorn again could be a soulmate connection that you have with this person. Oh, jeez, some crow. Because we have the King and Queen and this is a soulmate as well. I believe that there is a soulmate connection here between you and another person. And now there is some sort of decision that needs to be made because there is another person in the mix. Of course there is. And, you know, you're feeling left out. You're like, oh my God, I'm losing this love. I'm losing this love. I I am giving up. or This person has given up on me. There's no more... There's no more chances left with this person. Ah, yikes. So, mm -hmm. 
somebody didn't pass the test. They didn't pass the test, whether it was you or the other person. Somebody did not pass the test. Let me get this zoomed in. Decided to do it in the living room tonight. Do the cards in the living room. Um, yeah. So, I, this month of June, somebody is discontent. Some, this is Four of Cups. I'm not happy with what has happened. That's what this is. They're not happy. They've lost an opportunity or they've missed an opportunity. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I believe there is a feeling of dissatisfaction over blocked, a blocked emotions or blocked communication with somebody. There's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of hurt. And it's heavy. It's heavy to carry around. And I feel like there's closure that is needed that hasn't happened yet. That's the world card reversed. Somebody is feeling dead inside, empty inside, because the, something closure is still needed. And it feels like you need to find the strength to let go. You do. You need to find the strength to let go, to release, to close this chapter in your life. But it feels like you felt stable and secure with this, whoever it was. There's stability and security here uh, with th this person, whoever it was. Um, anyway, the Knight of Coins reverse. It's like all forward movement is stalled. It's been it's been blocked. It's like. There's no more. There's no. This is no longer moving forward at all. There's no forward movement, period. And it's causing a lot of hurt, uh, sadness, um, tears. And you, you are going to have to find the, the strength within you to actually let this go, to, to, to just let it go, even though it hurts. Because it feels like there's a missed opportunity. That there's a this is a missed opportunity in love, and I think I think that somebody has. Oh God, I don't want to say it until I get more cards. There's a there's a situation here where there's that lovers card is. I think somebody has. You lost an opportunity and somebody else took it. And that's exactly what happened here. You you, you lost an opportunity in love because you didn't move forward. You didn't communicate. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what this is. You didn't move forward. You didn't take action. You didn't communicate. And now you've lost the opportunity in love. Mmm. It's like now you have to step back and refocus on the future. You need to really take a time out and, and reflect on what your next steps are going to be. You have the ability to take back control of this situation right here. This is take back control. Be the boss. Be the leader. Dominate this situation. You are going to have to figure out a plan to take back control. I feel like you feel defeated. You do. You feel defeated. You feel like betrayed. There's a lot of emotional disappointment here over a lost love. Lost love. And there is. You've lost a love and you're feeling betrayed and disappointed. And, and some of you are going to say, hell no. Then this reading isn't for you. So, let's see. For those people that are saying, hell no. It's the time to step back and focus on your future. Take control. Be the boss. Have faith. Commitment is needed. This is the Hierophant card, the sign of Taurus. <laughs> We have Virgo up there. 
it's somebody who needs to make a conscious change because that Ten of Wands is making a conscious change. It is. Somebody needs to make a conscious change to commit. Oh, oh my goodness. So, um, five, five. These are very important life changes, choices. Fives are about life choices, life changes. These are both fives. Somebody has to make the right choice in regards to where they're going. What are they doing? You also need to really listen to your inner guide. This is the card, the Hierophant card, the sign of Taurus. It's about follow your inner guide. Your inner guide has the answers. I feel as though... There is no forward movement with somebody. It's over. It's done. Yeah, there's no more investment. Whoever you were dealing with or whatever, I think that you guys have given up or they have given up. Somebody has given up completely. They're, somebody didn't want to put in effort. They didn't want to communicate. They didn't... <clears throat> they brought a lot of baggage with them. Somebody had a lot of baggage And now it's like you have to stop sacrificing yourself on something that is going nowhere. You need to definitely be open to new possibilities. You need to have faith in the future. Have faith in your future plan. Have faith in your future goals. Look at this as a time of freedom. Real freedom. You're free. You're free. Somebody wasn't working hard. Somebody wasn't putting in effort. And I, th I think that was you. You weren't putting in effort and you lost. And I'm sorry. I am sorry. I think you lost on a situation and now you have to take back control of your life. Focus on the future. Somebody, there's, there was... Uh, the justice card reversed. This was a karmic situation. You were involved in a karmic situation. Action was needed. Action is needed. Somebody needs to take action, swift action, very quickly. But it feels like they don't want to be, somebody in this situation doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. I don't want to be held accountable. This wasn't my fault. Let's play the blame game. Well, that's bullshit. That's never going to work out. That'll send people running. Anyway, Pisces, I feel like it is time for you to focus on the future and stop hanging on to the past where whoever this person is that you are that you have lost the opportunity with, it's they've moved on and now it's time for you to move on. You have a new opportunity. You have somebody else. You have somebody else, Pisces. Somebody else. Somebody that is not your usual type. But you have to get over this this emotional disappointment from your past. You feel betrayed. There was a soulmate connection that is no longer realistic. Okay? This is unrealistic, the Seven of Pentacles. It's, it's not realistic. It's not. There was some, some lies. The justice reversed. There was lies. There was dishonesty. Unfairness. It, that something was done unjust. Somebody didn't do the right thing. And now they've lost an opportunity. 
There could have been a third party situation. You know, and those fives are also about personal freedom. Maybe somebody didn't want a commitment. The commitment is under there. I just want to be free. You know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. I feel as though somebody has lost an opportunity and now you have to actually let go of that loss in June. But what advice do you have for Pisces to move forward? That's what we want to know. One more bit of advice for Pisces to move forward. Take back control. You are the boss of your life. You are. Stop thinking about this person that isn't thinking about you. Why would... Oh, I even hate to say this. Why would somebody think about you if you don't communicate with them? There's lack of communication here. But follow your intuition. This is part of the, whatever has happened was part of the written script. This is silence to harness power. Like I said, there's been no communication. And this is, this represents Pisces, it does. You guys have been living in silence, trying to find the power within you. You've been growing, you've been changing, you've been evolving, you've been learning, you've been um, enlightened per se, you have, you've been enlightened from the events that have happened. And now you're being called to start over, start a new journey. Take a risk and and offer love because, I mean, here the Empress card is about growth. It's about fertility. It's about love. It's ruled by Venus. Again, the sign of Taurus. The High Priestess is also a sign of Taurus. You have Taurus and Virgo all over in this reading. Taurus the most. You also have Gemini. You have Libra, Aquarius as well. But Taurus, Virgo, Taurus and Virgo are the most prominent with Capricorn. You have a lot of Earth here. Earth could be anywhere in this person's chart. There's an opportunity for rebirth. Start over. Follow your intuition. That's your advice. I just asked for your advice. Follow your intuition. Take a risk. There is room for growth in a situation. I think it's within yourself. There's a soulmate connection here. There is. There is absolutely no doubt, okay? Big time. Big time. Okay, there is. You are in, there is a soulmate connection here. And you know who I'm talking about whoever this person is. I think it's an earth sign. Okay, we have the high priestess and the high priest, which is right here. Soulmate connection. Soulmate connection. Uh, the king and queen of pentacles. Soulmate connection. Um, empress and emperor touching each other. Soulmate connection. And you know, I don't like to use this word. I hate to use it. But if I was to use a word this ever would be the time I would say twin flame I don't like to use the word I don't believe in it for the, all of you that do this person that you are thinking about as I give you this reading is probably a karmic lesson I suppose. I believe that this is really hard for me. I believe that this um, person has moved on and you have lost the opportunity. The Six of Wands reversed. There's no victory in success. 
with whoever this person is that you're talking about or that I'm talking about. One more card for Pisces. I believe that you guys are being called to start on a new path on your own, free spirited, with faith. Take a risk, take a leap of faith, go down a new path. And don't look back. Don't look back. Son of a gun. Oh. <sighs> Love. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy. That propels you through life. Somebody. And right underneath it is the justice reverse. If you think about justice when you go to court. I mean justice is about the court system. It's about all kinds of things. Okay. When they, when they make that final decision. It's final. When that judge makes that decision. It's final. You know they make an honest and just decision. Somebody didn't this is reversed in love somebody didn't make the right honest decision in love there was lies i don't want to be held accountable they didn't pass the test the universe's test this is a universe card and it's it's connected to this lineup they didn't pass the, the, the test. Love needs to come first. Not money. Not work. Not ego. Anyway, I feel as though this is a month of starting a new journey, a brand new journey towards love. Learn from the situation. Always follow your intuition and your heart. Your intuition and your heart. It's not about lessons. It's not about teaching people lessons. It's about love. Talk to you later.